it, breaks, it, it, it just breaks my heart. The kids are more hungry than the adults. And we are the ones that are educated and taught. We're the ones that have the light. We're the ones that know the will of God. But yet, it takes those that are children. Friday night. I don't know about you, but that's a move of the light of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ moving like never before. And there are times, there are times that, that these kids are coming at 4, 430, and I'm like, oh my gosh, not yet, guys. But I remember one lady stood outside the doors 45 minutes before church started because that was the only place she could get the peace of God to move in her life. Because she was so hungry, and she knew there was only one place that she could feel and taste and see the move of God's presence. And I'm telling you, some of us need to thirst and be more hungry for what God wants. And, and as I wrap this up this morning, again is, you know, what are you doing to help this church become more thirsty? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you encouraging others or discouraging others? I mean, think about this. What if I went around all day long and I invited people to church now? Now, now when you come to church, don't look at the building because it ain't done. It don't look very good. It don't look good. It's not a very good building, but, but God's moving there. How I many know that if I look at that area in the wrong aspect of it and I begin to be negative on what God has already given us, how I many know the Spirit of God will not allow that move to move greater? It's a work in progress. Are we not a work in progress this morning? And I'm asking you this morning as God moves in this place in the next realm of what He's called to do. I'm asking you to seek God this week and say, God, what do you want me to thirst after? Now, maybe there's an area in the church that's dark. Maybe something it, 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 it just bothers you about what's going on. Then be the light and to help God with the solution. Amen? Let God move through your life. Let God flow through you in greater measure. You know, we have not tapped into the resources of what God wants to do yet. You know? Because again, we are called to be the preacher. We're the ones called to take the light. Listen, in, in 32 it says, Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him, the jailer, and all the others that were in the house. And at the hour, the night, the jailer took them and washed their, their wounds. Then immediately he and all his family were baptized. And the jailer brought them to, the, to his house and set a meal before him. And he was filled with joy because he had come to believe in God and and he and his whole family. Now I want you to think about this area. As God moves stronger, I have in my heart to do greater things than what God's given me. This is just the beginning. We were talking about it, Ray and myself, we were talking about it, and I feel in my spirit that this building ain't big enough for what God's going to do in the next five years. Amen. Some of you are going, really? You think so? Well, if you're not thirsty, you're just going to be on the, on the, on the sideline and sitting there going, wow, that's pretty neat that pastor gets to do what they do. No, no, you're missing it. We get to do what we're doing because we are in the perfect will of what God's doing. Like with me, it's not. You know, I keep, when I'm thinking about the move of God, Katie does an awesome job in worship. But you know what frustrates me the most? Is every time we try to get a band, Satan gets in the midst of that thing and messes it all up. And I'm telling you what, and we need to pray that, that, that the devil has no authority in there so we can step it up and do what God's called us to do in greater measure. We're okay, we're doing what we need to do, God's moving, but we can do better if we're all praying together. Amen? We have to thirst for more. God, I'm not satisfied where we're at in the church, but Father, if you move through me, I'll help in any way, way I possibly can to see God move stronger in Jesus' name. 
Be the solution, not the problem. I said be the solution, not the problem. We're here to help people, not sustain them. Are you with me? We're here to be a blessing in what God wants to do. And again, this morning, every head bow, every eye goes, we're in the presence of God here this morning. Again, and you're here, and you realize today that God is speaking to you. And you realize today that you need more of God's thirst in your life. You need more of God's thirst in your life. If that's you, and you're honest with yourself this morning, you say, Pastor, I want you to pray for me. Lift your hand up right now. If you need more of God's thirst in your life, I want you to lift your hand up right now. In the name of Jesus, if you're here right now. Yeah, thank you. Anybody else? Yeah, thank you. I give you prayers. Thank you. Father God, I just pray right now for each and every hand lifted for Father, help them become thirstier than where they're at in their walk. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now let me tell you, those that raise your hand, people do not want you to be hungry and thirsty for more of God. There will even be Christians that will not want you to be more thirsty for greater things of God. Because when you get thirsty for more of God, they get jealous because they don't have. That's why you need to get around those that are hungry and thirsting after God in greater measure. In greater measure. In greater measure. In greater measure. Thank you, Spirit of God. I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you glory. Thank you this morning. Thank you this morning, Father. Help them become the light of the world and help them to see them being the salt of the earth. Father, help them to see a greater manifestation of what has happened. Maybe you're here this morning and say, Pastor, I've never made peace with God. I'm not where I need to be with God. This morning, I want to I make sure that everything's right with God. Maybe you're here, you, you've walked away, and you need to recommit your life to Christ. And if you're here this morning, you say, Pastor, that's me. I need to re recommit my life to Christ. But that's you. Just lift your hand. Anybody in this place say, that's me. That's me. That's me. Anybody at all? Jesus.